what's up guys learning with rich here in this video i'm gonna show you how to use an in-place family to create a step footing on an existing foundation wall okay so let's do this so what i'm gonna do is here in my 3d view i'm going to select the structure tab and then from the foundation panel i'm going to select here structural foundation wall okay so this tool it creates foundation walls or foundation hosted by our wall here okay so you will notice after we place the footing it will gonna be placed at the base of this foundation wall here okay so let's do this so I'm going to select the wall here wall foundation and then from the properties I'm gonna change this to uh, bearing footing 36 inches by 12 inches I'm gonna select that one and then after that just select your wall just click that and then that's it so you just place your uh, wall foundation okay now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create a family category for the solid extrusion that forms the shape of a step footing so how to do that so i can uh, do that here in 3d view but it would be better if I do it on my uh, section view here. So what I need to do is I need to place the work plane to this face here. So that we'll be able to host the extrusion that we will be doing using our in-place family tool. So how to do that? So let's go to the section one. And then after that, from the model panel, you can see here component. So you just click here model in place so we are going to create an in place family so it creates a component that is unique to the project so the component exists only in context of the current project and it cannot be loaded into other projects so you cannot reuse an in place family using a load family you can just copy it but you cannot load it as a family all right so that's how the in place family works so I'm going to select a model in place and then just move your slider and then look for so we need to place our in place family to the correct uh, category which is structural foundation okay and then after that just select your okay and then for the name here just type let's say this is a step footing okay and then just select your okay all right, so you will now notice that your environment here, your tab replaced by a family editor tools. So what I'm gonna do is from the create tab, I'm going to select extrusions to create a solid extrusion. Just click that. And then we need to place the work plane on the correct orientation. So I'm gonna select the pickup plane and then okay. And like what I've said earlier, so I want to place the work plane to this face here. So I'm gonna select that right and then let me just go back again to the 3d view quickly so this uh dimension here the dimension of this um foundation this wall foundation is three feet so if i'm going to select a line dimension and then place the dimension to this face here that one and then that one oops okay So, all right so let me just change first the uh, our work plane just to show you the thickness so i'm gonna place here the work plane and then let me select the dimension again so i'm gonna select this face here and then this face here so that is uh three feet all right so just take note of that so i'm gonna select modify here to cancel and then i'm going to set again the work plane okay to this face here all right all right and then let's now go back again to our section one okay so now the next thing that we will be doing is we're now going to shape our step footing so i'm going to select the line tool here just click that and then i'm gonna create the shape of my footing the step footing 
then I'm gonna pick here and then for this one so let's say I'll just use one foot and then I select here modify and then I'm going to click this just to connect that to the endpoint because remember every time you sketch make sure they are the reference lines here the sketch line so make sure they are close no intersection no overlapping okay and then after that go to the properties and like what i have said earlier so we want that extrusion to be three feet but this will gonna be negative so negative three feet so that will gonna be the thickness of our extrusion and then i'll just select here finish edit mode and then finish model okay so before i finish model let me just change the material here let's click the ellipsis button and then i'll just use a concrete uh, i'll just use this one concrete cast in place concrete so just select your okay and then just uh, finish the model and then that's it so if you go to the 3d view so this is now how it looks like okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this going back to the section one using the copy tool. So let's select that and then let's use the copy and let me just pick this as my base point. So make sure multiple is checked, constraint is unchecked. So let's place it here. Let's place it here. There you go and then for this one so maybe what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to just use the align tool so line i'm gonna pick this i want to align that okay so pick this gonna align that all right then select modify so that's it so let's go to the 3D view and let's view our model. So you can change your visual style to realistic. If you want to see the, the material of our model. Okay, so basically that's how you create an in-place family and that's how you create your wall foundation you can actually still use the join tool here if you want so as you can see they are all separated so you can use the join tool so let's say going to the modify so let's use the join tool here so you can use uh, join tool so let's click this let's see how this one works so let's use a uh, multiple join here and let's click this one and then this one two and then i want to join this one as well okay so there is a circular chain of reference among the highlighted elements so i'll just select resolve i'll just click this i'll just click this one mm, there's some issue here but anyway i'll just select your resolve and then just select your modify so this is what happens when you resolve it so i don't think that's a good idea so i'll just select undo okay and that's it so that's the completeness of our exercise it's very simple but it's very useful especially you if you are lacking a family or if you want to add a family that is not actually going to be used to another project since this family that you that you want is a unique family you are not going to use this to another project then might as well use an in-place family okay and that's how you do it okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.